This video will highlight the Tecla TEDS batch design. This is an Excel workbook to facilitate the input of multiple design cases for a chosen TEDS calculation. When calculated it will run each design case and report the design results for each design case in the workbook. You can choose to interact with the calculations user interface or hide it. Before running any calculation within the library, always review the notes associated with it. These cover the scope along with general notes, assumptions and limitations and a revision history. The general notes section provides some useful guidance on how to query the TEDS calculation and obtain the information you require to set up and use the batch design worksheet. Run the TEDS batch design from the library to open the Excel worksheet. Instructions are provided along with a bearing example in both S and US units. In this example we will look at the bearing pressures for rectangular footings calculation to determine the bearing pressure and bearing percentage for a specified loading arrangement and various base areas. The key variables used by the calculation are itemized in the design variables document. Right-click the calculation and view properties to obtain the name and library required. You now have the required information for use in the TEDS batch design Excel worksheet. Define the calculation input details. We will define the input and output details on a single new sheet as detailed in the tips section. Define the input header variables required by the calculation in row 1 and the units in row 2. Provide an empty column to separate the input and output variables and then define the output header variables and units. Finally define a row after the two headers for each design case you wish to consider. The show user interface option is set to yes, so upon pressing calculate, the user interface is displayed with the input variables we defined in the Excel design worksheet already filled in. As soon as we click finish the results are returned to the Excel worksheet. Let us now define a few more design cases by adding some additional rows to the batch design workbook. We will also run the batch design without displaying the user interface. We can see the status as it runs through each design case. After it is completed, we can review the results returned to the batch design worksheet. Note the warning contained with the instructions. You must always verify the results in TEDS to ensure no critical failures or warnings exist in the output. You can use the send to Word function to send the calculation output to TEDS for Word.